Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And John Marston is alone, guys. Both Abigail and Jack have decided to leave him because he just can't seem to win. <laughs> Despite his best intentions, um, Abigail and Jack left. And now he has taken up his old school bounty hunter costume, which looks amazing, by the way. And we are here in Valentine to meet up with Sadie Adler. And this blood speckled horse kind of gives us a clue, as well as the yelling coming from inside the saloon. So let's go see what our old partner has been up to. Probably something violent, knowing Sadie. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Oh, enjoy oh Bubba. Enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. He has like, ish. Oh, oh it's legal, I'm um, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sure. Sounds easy. Sounds, sounds dangerous. No, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Sadie's turning into that uh, female gunfighter we ran into. something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Uh, Micah? I Ooh. think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we God found him. It. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. Oh, wow. Wait, you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. So that's where all the money that Arthur gave him went to. They went to the Yukon and gambled like a lot of other people did back in that time during the gold rush and tapped out. At least they're alive and healthy. I'm really curious where Abigail and Jack are though. Hopefully we'll find out soon enough. Haha, <laughs> seems like only yesterday. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. Nathan Kirk. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. All right, thank you, sir. Seem polite. Let's see what the saw man here has to say. You got any inf information for me, saw man? You seen a... You seen a 
Bald New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. About 45. <sighs> no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, let's head into the general store. Meet the uh, our former employer. He may have something to say about our change of attire. Maybe nothing good, but at least we don't have Abigail to get mad at us right now. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella. A New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. You know, it might be the fact that they don't recognize John. He does have quite the manly beard comparatively when they first rode into town. Change of attire doesn't hurt matters either. The Welcome Center. This is where we had an unfortunate incident trying to uh, save our game, if memory serves. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he there you are. Whoa. What, what now? What? What? What's going on? I heard Sadie talking. Easy enough. That was a weird glitch. Okay, I can't question him anymore. I guess Sadie just decided to come in and interrupt everyone. In typical Sadie fashion. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, search the old-fashioned way. No oh, Mr. Kirk in here. And that is the bath. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Stop. Hey. Oh, here we go. That's Nathan Kirk. Oh, oh wow. Got him. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on, jump out. Ow. Okay, Missy. We got to get after him. Remember, we want him alive though. I know. Chase after. Oh, we got our lasso. We are good to go. Come on, Rachel. This is your baptism by fire. Oh! Some logs got dropped. And not from a horse. Sadie's going to try and head him off. Ooh. I will bet you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. There's a lot of rough terrain. I don't want to. Whoa. Good job, Rachel. All right. We got him in our sights. Whoa. All right, come on, Rachel. We're putting on the... <laughs> and suddenly, lambs. Then come on and talk to us. This is persecution. Is it though? 
Hold on. Horse items. Horse reviver. Stamina. All right, here we go, here we go. Boy, you got hey! I don't deserve this treatment! Nice mutton chops there, sir. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man! Oh! But it's all a mistake! My wife... My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? Oh, cool. your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Mm hmm. There is a difference. It actually is. Innocent until proven otherwise. On Hera. Oh, great name. Money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. You no, know, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Bye, Sadie. Bye, Mr. Kirk. Gainful employment. Okay. Where am I? <laughs> we are at the Dakota River. How close are we to Blackwater? Oh, man. Alright. Oh, we got a bounty poster in Blackwater as well. Well, I guess the time has come, guys. We're going to revisit one of the most iconic locations. And is there a barber nearby? I hope there is. Yes, there is. We are going to get John looking like the Marston of old. I mean, he's almost there. Come on, then. By the way, good job, Rachel. And thank you guys in the comments for letting me know I need to stock up on hay. And is the trapper... I probably should have... Oh, the trapper is nearby. Because apparently I can get the... Bag of the West. Or something from him now. So we will go check that out first. I'm still waiting for the guys to ride by saying, You got the wrong man! They're after my brother Petey! Oh, and it's raining. Guess I should not be surprised. Yes, indeed. Uh, first off, though. Hungry girl. Get her all brushed out and patted it. There you go. All right. I like the fact that we have Arthur saddle too. Okay, what are we buying? Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Garment sets, clothing, reinforced equipment, items. No. Hunter, sharpshooter. No, I'd, I'd want to keep that for sure. The ghost bison. Clothing. Oh wait, 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 clothing, 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 hats, vests, chaps, boots. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. Not right there, reinforced equipment. Bandit. No. Saddles ain't gonna matter. Bait. I'm not sure where the, uh... The bag is. I reckon 1908 might be the time I head back home. It's a long old walk. I don't start next year. I might not see the end of it. Hmm. All right, I'll have to look at it a little bit later, guys. Sorry about that. Now it's Blackwater. So long. Mm. 
And hopefully it'll be a nice quiet ride. Hello as I nearly fall off a cliff. Let's go ahead and mark that map just in case because I am going the wrong way already. And we won't head over to the bank yet. We will, however, head over to the barber. Oh, Lord above. That is a lot of wild dogs. There, there. Easy. Yep. Come on. We are getting out of here, Rachel. <laughs> we got a lot of a lot of nonsense heading our way. See if we can outmaneuver them. Good girl, didn't even throw me or anything. I so would have expected that. Come here, you. Hey, what? Oh! Okay, hold on. I'll be with you in just one second, man. Get me off this horse. Yep, will do. Platinum engraved buckle. Neat. Quick! Get me free! Yes, there are wolves out here, believe it or not. Alright. Careful. Are you really gonna leave me tied up like this? Well, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's thank all you. right, ma'am. It's over now. Yeah, go ahead, just use the horse. Yeah. Smart lady. And they call me a bad fella. Oh yes, and that leads to you, my dear friend. Well, do 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 do. do. Oh, someone's on the way. Let's go, girl. I wasn't doing anything. Hello. You got a problem with me? We'll just leave him to the wolves. See what that does for us. Now, if I just miss that bag, because I wasn't really paying attention, I can go ahead and grab it a little bit later off camera. Or if there's a particular vendor. We're probably going to spend a good portion of this episode exploring Blackwater, guys. See how much of it is the same as the black water that I remember from Red Dead 1. Oh, Great Plains. Holy crap. That's good stuff right there. There's the church. Where we inadvertently uh, killed a man. Blind Seer is here. Penny for the blind. Penny Ooh. for the blind. Okay, I'm going to try. Penny for the blind. I'm trying, sir. Penny for the blind. It's not letting me do so. Penny for the blind. I hate it when the game does this. This is the only thing I don't Kill like the about blind man. There we go. Here you go. Ooh, John's honor is in the middle. Embrace those who love you, not the memory of those who pretended to. Uh right. Okay, friend. All the best now. I do like that quote. You're a good Philly. 
I'm sure you've got better things to do than follow a lame blind man. You are correct. I do have better things to do. Hopefully the barbers is still open. I mean, it just turned into night, so. Oh my god, Blackwater. Had some interesting times here in this town, let's say. And I don't think there's as many buildings as there was in, yeah. Oh, some buildings are under construction. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Huh. I really wanted to come here with Arthur, but I figured that would not be wise. Hey there. I'll drive you wherever you need to go. Okay. Whoa there. Eh, they got the hitching posts aren't nearly as fancy as uh are nearly as fancy as uh, Saint Denis, but it's all right. No, don't you close. Hello, looking for a trim? Yes. I got him right before they closed the door. Facial hair. We're gonna keep her his hair long. Uh, let's trim it up. Oh, there he is. about right there it's between it's between two and three let's go ahead and get two and the chin and chops no mustache that's good stuff okay Get that hat on let's see Yep, that's John Marston, all right. Then we've got the Imperial Theater. We can go ahead and catch a show. Hey. Let's see, there's the exit and the entrance. Just taking a breather. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Oh, I thought she was, like, making out with someone. I just saw the fan. All right, we'll leave you to it, man. Sure. Can I buy a ticket, please? Through the doors behind you, please. Is there a fence here? I hope. I'll sit here next to the ladies. Oh, right next to the ladies. Direct current damnation. Electricity is the great wonder of the age. But not all electricity is equal. Alternating current is safe. Direct current is dangerous. Oh, this is the... Direct current is a deadly menace. Direct current wipes out the ignorant. <laughs> wow. Which would you prefer in your home? An evil menace strong enough to fell a mighty elephant? Or a calm gift from the gods that provides light and warmth? Yeah, this is just like uh, Tesla and Edison versus alternating currents, lights our homes, and warms our baths. Oh yeah, that's safe. Alternating currents slims our bellies and calms our women from hysteria. This message has been brought to you by the Lennox Electric Company. Good stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Short, sweet, and to the point. 
Goodbye now. We'll see you next time. Yeah, good show. Good show. Good commercial. Alright. Should we go ahead and check out this bounty? Since we are in the area. Maybe we can play some poker for old time's sake. Actually, can Arthur get a bath? Hello, Blackwater sir. Saloon. Howdy. You get some food. Ooh. Funny how okay. Hand can play out. Are you following me? <laughs> oh, I don't have Hello. enough money. No, I could probably get some good money on the poker table, but I don't you want know, to. Mine is stupid as you is mighty hard to read. Hi, Mister. Well, this looks hey, like you good? Oh, couldn't. What do we got? Hey, peach cobbler. Oh, my lord! Hey, I will eat some go. peach cobbler. Can I get Why some not? food? <sighs> some ice cream. Mm. I'm not a big peach cobbler guy, but you make some ice cream in it, that is good stuff. Now, my question is, are there baths to be had? Hello. Hello. Nice mustache, sir. I figured John would need to go ahead and keep himself clean as much as Arthur did. Levi's crop short again. Wonder what I'll say Is there this time. Uh, something I can get for you? I don't know. Lodging. Oh yeah, we can get a bath. Cool. Can I get a hot bath, please? I'm real dirty. I'd like a room for the night. It's all yours. Enjoy. Okay. We can go ahead and get our game saved. I'm actually curious what it's like when John takes a bath and the ladies try to be all friendly. Actually, to tell you the God's honest truth, he probably would be like, Nope, sorry. He would too, wouldn't he? He wouldn't even have the... Let's see if it even gives us the option. Someone to take over for you? <sighs> you know, I'm okay by myself. Well, you just let me know if you need me. <laughs> Good guy, Marston. Actually, this will speed up the process here by quite a bit. That was actually one of the most endearing things about him in Red Dead 1 was the fact that you know, you have the typical Rockstar games like the Grand Theft Autos where you can buy the services of a special someone and every time he got a, um, he got asked about it in Red Dead, he was like, no, I'm sorry, I'm married. And stamina has increased. Awesome. Some fella tried to punch the man in the booth at the theater down the way. Good boy. I guess he you didn't like the show. Rancher? Okay, now we'll go ahead and get some sleep. I still remember when I was like, man, I don't understand why it looks like I'm bank clerk. I'm not following you, I'm just trying to get some sleep. Did I come in through this way? Nope. I beg your pardon. Sorry. I'm right here near the blackjack tables. Which is an oh so quiet environment for a sleep. Oh wow. Okay, let's go ahead and search the drawer. See if there's anything of interest. There rarely is in the hotel rooms, but. Oh wow, morning's starting to break. Awesome. It's a nice room though. At least sleep a little. Eh, yeah, sleep till noon. Seven hours. Perfect. If John's hair just gets a little bit longer. We'll be right at the Red Dead 1 look. Now, the only other thing that I'm curious about in regards to uh, Marston's garb is can I wear a coat? 
because if you guys remember my playthrough, he always had the brown duster on too, as well as his bounty hunting outfit. I guess we could change. Cl oh yeah, wait a minute. Ah, uh, let's not worry about that. Let's take care of that later. I'm not following you. Our paths just seem to converge, like ships passing in the night. Thank you. Perfect weather. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> okay, there's where I need to go for the bank loan. Let's have some starting capital. At least. Or these gala- oh wow, that is a very public place for a hanging. enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Salt of the earth. Oh, he's got a bear hat on. $90 reward for the apprehension or death of Elias Green. He's wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation of six settlers near Manzanita Post. He's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains area, green is stocky and wears animal skins, bear hat, and buckskin shirt. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them. If you Hello can there. stomach it. I don't <laughs> think you'll be bringing him in alive. But sure as hell, I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Give him hell. Locate Elias Green in tall trees. Okay. Oh, it's that weird weather where it's raining while the sun's out. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. There's water coming down from the <laughs> awning. Well, before we get a bank loan taken care of, there is a fence here in town, right? There has to be. General store. Dominoes. There is no fence here. Oh, that's nonsense. Barber, photo, photo studio, tailor, butcher. You figured that there definitely would be one. Well, let's go ahead and... Tr oh, there's Fort Riggs, which we've passed by. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know this, and some of you won't be happy, but we're probably just going to Nobody go mostly toward toward the plot, yeah, because I could literally be doing this playthrough forever, just exploring stuff. Who's trying to give you the time of day? Don't have to be might. Just enough to keep Go me get a breathing. Hot meal, all right? Huh? Oh, please. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is for you. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, career. Hey. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless joke. <laughs> Pitiful. Sorry, buddy. I wish I could help. I wish I could give you a hug, but the game's not going to allow me to do that. It's weird how it's not. I'm I'm a pretty antisocial person um, in real life, but I have a lot of empathy. If that makes any sense, that can lead to some very complicated situations in my brain. Let's go ahead up here on the high ground. This is actually one of my favorite places in the original Red Dead. Well, I just loved the Great Plains, because it reminds me of home. Quite a bit. 
the area of New Mexico that I live in is or lived in was very flat, but this was very similar of its terrain. But if you went about 50 miles to the west, further into New Mexico, you would get this kind of like the hills and the drops and the valleys. Oh, someone's doing something. Taking a constitutional. Now, how much of tall trees is actually available, I guess, is the question I want to ask because the, not necessarily the reservation, but the area that Dutch takes over I don't want to give a whole lot of spoilers away, but... Aloop! Thank you, Rachel. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, are we in Beecher's Hope right now? Oh, okay. This is where John's, uh... branch would be. Now, if we can find this guy and snipe him from afar, because he is wearing a very, very recognizable hat, we could be in good. We could be in business here. They want him dead, and I've got no qualms ensuring that. Just taking on a nasty mountain man. Okay. You go ahead and just hang out right here. And let's grab the Lancaster Repeater and let's go with the Sniper Rifle. Just to see what we can do here. Shoot that bear hat clean off of his head. Okay, he's here somewhere. Locate Elias Green. Want a dead or alive. Watch, he's going to jump scare us in that bear hat, isn't he? He's going to be camouflaged like the end in Metal Gear Solid 3. Hmm. Okay. Head closer to the middle, I suppose. see a deer. It's a very big deer. He's like sneaking up on us. Oh, investigate the camp. Okay. Um, since we are doing close work, we'll switch over to the repeater. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Oh, are we doing some tracking? Yeah, we're doing some tracking. Search deeper into Skinner territory. Alrighty. Here. Nice to know that uh, Marston learned from Charles. I figured he would, though. At least get some of a basic knowledge. This is going to lead to a cave, isn't it? Oh no, he met up with some people. Great. Love it. I do have my pistol, don't I? Yep. I'm not... Oh, yes, I am wearing the dual guns. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and be nice and quiet here. If we can just sneak up on them. That would be the most ideal circumstance for us. Okay, if I was murderous hillbillies... Oh. You guys hunting? They are hunting. Our one unknown animal. Okay, we think we've lost the scent just a little. That's his horse. Oh, Lord. Well, that escalated quickly. This one's still breathing. Yep. Hi, Elias. How are you? Oh, you got a bow. So, that is not good, these guys. It's like evil Davy Crockett's. Damn it. All right, let's go ahead and get over here. Rachel, we got a... Okay, open cocaine gum. Wow. It is. They're evil Davy Crockett's. Reavers of the Wild Frontier. Oh. Okay. Elias. Damn, horse. Oh, horse is out of whistling range. Of course he is. <clears throat> Alrighty. Your horse is out of whistling. Oh, Rachel. Well, here, we're going to get our... Shit. Going to get our steps in today. Our cardio and a little bit of strength training. Just when you need it. Yeah, I should have had him follow. I didn't know how much trekking we were going to have to do here. I believe the whistling range increases as we get more attached. Oop! Oh, I'm sorry, Elias. Apologies. Because your comfort is my primary concern. Oh, crap. <laughs> I've never heard Marston say, oh, crap. Good stuff. Oh, how far did I go? Come on, Rachel. Throw me a bone here. There we go. Is <laughs> my stamina is like... <laughs> Come on, girl. I know you can hear me. I hear the pitter-patter. Oh, your first corpse. You're a good girl now. 
It's a wonderful time to be alive, Rachel. Not necessarily for Elias, but it is a good time. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and hustle back to Blackwater. Too sweet. Drop this corpse off. I know that guy wanted to see him hung, but, you know, some people... Some people don't deserve ceremony. Does that make sense? Some people just deserve to get a bullet. Hello? Alright. Now we'll stick on the roads. Oh, now we're riding right through Beecher's Hope. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, if that's Beecher's hope as it is right, right there, I will have a lot more respect for John as a farmer, because that is uh, quite the dusty, arid area, and it was anything but in Red Dead 1. So I've definitely got to appreciate that. He may say he's a crap farmer. But he did the best with what he had. And that seems to be... That's John Marston's, like, lot in life. Hello! <laughs> yeah, sorry, Rachel. You get a workout now. I had to carry this big lumbering guy with a bear hat across a good bit of forest. So you... It's okay if I work a little bit of a lather up with you. Right as evening's starting to drop, too. Not bad. Good time to get some laundry done. Since our bounty hunting costume is now covered in a bit of plasma. Not plasma, but... Am I the Undertaker? Um, no, but I keep the Undertaker busy. We don't have enough time, sir. What a girl you're becoming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rachel, let's go ahead and take care of our primary business first. So making sure our horse is in good shape. Do have to go to the stables and grab hay. And then look and see where we need to go get that bag. Keep going, girl. You're okay. Make a fine mount of you yet. Special delivery. Knock knock. Here's that Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Lias Green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? Hmm. Put Elias Green's corpse outside. Oh, because I saw the Undertaker was next door. That's handy. Oh, that can't be sanitary. Right where the washing's done? man weren't worth spit but here's what we're paying for him it was a nasty business up there honest work for honest pay mm -hmm. you're making an old chief's life a little easier you know how about coming back in a while picking up another poster he seems like an old school lawman who just has to wear a proper uniform he has that vibe all right guys well we are here in blackwater what is what was old is new again. Oh, hey boy. We got a doggy that we are about to pet. You're a good dog. Blue tick coonhound. And we are going to go ahead and call it a day. We got to meet up with Sadie and um, hopefully we're on the right track to getting Beecher's hope in John's possession. But hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And uh We'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>